All right, fellers, welcome back to Hot Rods Model Shop. Fellers, I ain't got a whole lot done, but I did get a little bit done, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> Probably nothing around here done. But anyway, uh, I got my, let me get the little motor out of the way. Let's see here, man. I got the transmission started. Well, get my hand out of the way. Man, I'm, I'm, I ain't give up on my little light yet. I'm still trying to make this deal work. I, I was going to turn it off during this, but I I don't know. Let, let me see if it makes a difference. Heck. I don't know. Maybe it does, man. I'm going to leave it off. All right. Let's see here. This should be like before. We ain't got no more light than we ever had in here, but looks all right on the screen here. Fellers, uh, let's see here. I usually don't do nothing like this, but I thought for this build, being a senior build, why not? Let's Let's try to... Let's try to at least make it a little bit better than we usually do, as y'all have seen. But anyway, man, uh, I, th I think it was Grandpa Mark I seen. He said he starts his wires back here at the head. I'm pretty sure it was him. If it's not, I apologize. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that has showed this done this way. But he said he makes his, starts his back here at the plugs and then goes toward the distributor. Kind of cool idea i think maybe it'll work but uh that's the way i'm gonna do this one now man last night my my little distributor that came in the kit i was i was filing down the top of it so i could drill me nine holes in it and uh man that little fella fell out of my hands and he hit the floor here and i got no idea where it's at i, I have looked i looked when it come in today and i can't find that little fella so, what I did, man, was uh, I took a piece of sprue. Well, shoot, I don't know what I did with it. I don't know where I laid it or I'll, I would show you. But anyway, fellas, I took a piece of sprue. I see I see right here what I used. It's kind of a, kind of a bulky-looking sprue. But what I did was I, I cut me a little piece of it off, a little length that I thought maybe would be the length of a dis as tall as a distributor cap so I'm, I'm making my own distributor first time i've ever done that it shouldn't be too hard but anyway man what i was gonna do is uh i was gonna drill the nine holes in it and then i was gonna attach him up here where he goes and then i was gonna run my wires to it and put them in top of the cap the man I ain't got no way of doing no boots other than a little dab of black paint. I saw where you can, like, build up a little Mod Podge on the ends and kind of paint them and make them look something what like plug boots, wire boots. But, man, here's what I was thinking. Once I get them over here and into my distributor cap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to cut me a little bitty circle to go on top of the cap. I know you guys have seen them, and probably shows, drag racing, stock, whatever the case may be. I'm sure you've seen a little old thing that attaches to the cap that helps hold the wires down. So that, that's what I'm going to do there, and then I'm going to attempt to put a little MSD sticker, if I can find one, on top of it. and That way you can't really tell that, that it doesn't have boots on it. Maybe look, Maybe look a little bit better, I don't know. I usually don't do that, so who knows how this will turn out anyway. Let me let me kick him over here to the side, get him out of the way here. The man, I, I did notice in that last video, and this is where it all shows up, man, is uh, in my videos. I don't see it until I watch the daggone videos. But on my body right here, looking at it right now, I may have, I might have gotten it, I don't. I don't know, I don't see them right now, but when I watch it on my computer here where it's a little bit bigger screen, I might be able to see. But I think I finally got these lines out. Maybe, hopefully. Man, I have sanded on this little jewel, and I'm going to tell you fellas right now, if y'all if y'all been watching my videos and you've seen how my cars look, I don't do a whole lot of body work to these things, man. Not at all. I've spent more time on this one sanding and and trying to make it look right 
or a good finished project than I've probably done altogether on any three or four of my other cars that I've showed. But anyway, I'm trying to do this a good build, man. The best that I can do anyway. Let me set him over here. All right. Now, man, I, I did get some, <clears throat> excuse me, I did get some uh, gray primer on my chassis. And the cage system, I just set that seat in there just to get it off of my little thing where I had it on. When I painted it, I just tried to get it off there. And I set it in there just maybe for a little color. But anyway, <laughs> I got all this primered. A gray primer. And uh, I taped off down here like I said I was going to. That way when I glue that down, I haven't put my little drill bit indentions right here oh, this goes in there right here and uh over here i haven't done that yet but i'm going to before i kind of start on this thing kind of getting it ready maybe for another coat of primer maybe or some paint but man I, about, about the paint and the primer here first of all y'all have heard me say a hundred times that i'm a primer fella man i, I like primer and after i put this on there Man, I, I kind of like it, and it, it ain't got no gloss to it, but my buddy told me, he said, get you some uh, clear and just spray clear over it, and, and it'll shine it. He said it looks good. So I'm going to attempt to do that maybe and and see how that works for me. If not, if it don't work out, we just throw it in the stripper. <laughs> so uh, start all over. So let's see here. I haven't really done anything else to this part of it. Let me see if I can show you the bottom of it. I mean, probably on here, by, by looking at it, hell, it looks the same color as it was before I primered it. But I did throw some primer on it yesterday. <clears throat> yesterday evening when I come in, I did throw some primer on it because I seen on the news where it's supposed to rain, like starting today for the next few days, and... But the weatherman was right so far. It started raining today, so that's that's what we got going on out there. So it won't be no won't be no spray painting going on anyway. Uh let's see. What else did we get done? Not much, but we did get a little bit more done. We got our wheels. We got our wheels in from powder coating. <laughs> I don't know how good you can tell, but I think they look pretty good for uh for a stock car, I think Senior would approve. All right, let me kick them over here. Got the backs of the wheels. They come in from the powder coat. So we got all that going on. And, uh, <clears throat> man, I, I want to show you something. I started to show you all this not long ago, but it, it's nowhere near finished, man. What I did was I, I got it painted, decaled, and then I put some clear over it. And, uh, man, I think it's probably one of my... But I, I, I don't think I've showed a better looking paint job and decal job yet on this channel anyway. Let me, let me see if I can move him to the side and bring this little jewel in. Man, I'm glad this one turned out because, you know, after you see what it is, man, you'll know why. Let's set him up here. That's right. The man, the myth, the legend, Dale Earnhardt. Big E, uh, man, I, I don't know, I don't, there ain't enough words to describe Earnhardt, man, he, he was the man in NASCAR, not taking nothing away from Richard Petty, like him too, man, but Earnhardt was the man, he was the one that really put excitement in the show, and back in the day, man, it was him, Rusty Wallace, doing a lot of that, putting, putting them in the show every time, I went to Bristol and watched them down there once, and man, these cats battled, what was it, 500 laps around, what is it, a half mile track, I think, 500 laps, man, them dudes got after it, I think Rusty Wallace won that particular race, but anyway, uh, man, I just, I just want to show this, and another thing I wanted to ask is, I've seen some videos where guys say that they paint them, and then they clear them, and they do all that, and then they put their decals on. But back in the day, man, there wasn't no videos to watch. There was, I remember, a Scale Auto magazine being out. And I think I might have bought one, one issue, and it's probably 
I'm sure I still got it. I got a stock stack of hot rod magazines here beside me that's hell knee high to me. I ain't very tall, but uh, anyway, fellers, I, I think that magazine is in there. And I think on the cover it maybe had a like a blue and orange looking GT40, maybe, I think, if I remember right. Uh, hell, I looked at that thing a hundred times over and over. But anyway, that that's about all we had back then, so I didn't really know any ways how you do stuff. But the way I did it, man, that jewel looks good. I, I hope it shows up in this video as good as this thing really looks. I got my hood taped down up here because I didn't want him falling off. But uh, I wanted to show y'all that, man, because, like I say, I think that's one of my best paint job and decal. And I, I really, I don't think I cleared very many cars at all. But this one right here, man, my Earnhardt car, yeah, it's pretty special. I didn't, I didn't want to take no chances on it. And after all these years, man, I think it has really held up good, man. It's not been. I, I see them guys. Uh, buff them and polish them and all that, and man. I don't know if you can make that thing right there shine any more than it already does. I, I hope, I hope this video does it justice because it's. I'm proud of that paint job right there, man, and decals. But anyway, uh, well, nowadays, uh, like I say, I've I've seen people do, I've seen people put the decals on last. And right there's an example of putting the decals on before the clear. It, is there something different about the decals today or or something like that? I, I don't know. I would hate to do that the way that I've done that Earnhardt car and mess up my decals, man, them, them cool decals. But anyway, uh, let's see here. That's That's really about all I got for you, man. Yeah, really. But uh, I tell you what I seen this morning. I looked before I went to work. I come in here and drink my coffee and, and look at YouTube videos before I go to work every morning. And I, I noticed, man, I seen I was at 247 subs. So I thought, dang, man, we're right there. Hopefully, before I get home today, we're at 250. So I look when I got off work, man. When I got in the parking lot, I got on YouTube and checked and to look and see, and I was at two hundred and fifty subs. I was like, "Wow, man, that that's awesome. We get to do this thing now." And uh, I got home, I got a shower, got me something to eat, come in here, and I had two hundred fifty-one subscribers. So we got an extra one. Now, here's the way we're gonna do this, fellers. I'm I'm in, I'm, I'm including I'm including the 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 people that does not make content or make videos, a video maker is what I call it. <laughs> so anybody that ain't a video maker is also eligible. I, I first said that you had to make a video, or you had to be a video maker, and yeah, man, that, I knew that wasn't right. And then a feller called me out on it, and that pretty much confirmed my thoughts. That ain't right, man. So I'm 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 including all my all my viewers. But here's the deal. It, 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 you're going to have to do a little bit of research. So here's the deal. All right, man. I, I wrote this down today just on my lunch hour just to make sure I, I get this right. All right. Here we go. In one of my videos, I mentioned one of my models I've shown as one of my favorites. And I think when I brought that car out, I said, this right here is one of my favorites. All right. So there we go with that. Now, I showed my other favorite car in front of that one right before I showed that one that I mentioned that. The one before it is my is one of my favorites. I got two really true favorites. And, and I showed them both in the same video. All right. Let's see here. Now, put in the... Find out which two cars that is and come back to this video and put in the comment box what your two choices are. All right, now let's see here. Once you do that, I'm going to let this run till Friday, the 
uh, April the 12th. It's coming Friday. I'm going to let it run till I get home, get a shower, get me something to eat, and get in here. So I don't know what time it'd be, 6, 7 o'clock. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to let it run till then. Let's see now. I, I want to make sure I do this right. Now, on, on Friday the 12th, April the 12th, when I come in from work, we'll number the correct answers from top to bottom. Meaning when I look at my computer screen, the, the comment on the very the very top comment that I see anyway is going to be number one. All right, and I'm going to go down to the bottom. All right, now everybody that's got the right answer with the correct two cars, now you're going to you're going to get a qualifying number, either one through. I don't know. It might be three, four, three, four people. Uh, we hope it's more than that, but that might be all we get. So odds is good for you three or whatever. But anyway, we're going to assign a number, a qualifying number to that person. We're going to try to keep track of them up until Friday evening. And, uh, we're going to assign a qualifying number. And then that number is going to go on to a little piece of paper and fold it up. And you're going to see, I I'm going to, I tell you what, I'll try to show every one of them. I try to do it on here and show you as I fold them up, one through whatever, to make sure y'all see that my number system matches my list. All right. And then we're going to draw a number out of there, out of the bowl. I'm going to put it in a bowl so I can get my hand in there and get one of them out without, without a bunch of fumbling around. All right, we're going to draw a number. I'm going to, I'm going to, Friday before I do the, before I draw this thing, I'm going to edit this video that you're, this video right here, I'm going to edit it and put my email, email address in there. Now, if I can't do that, I'm going to put it in the comments. That way, whoever wins, whoever gets, who, who's ever qualifying number gets drawn. They have until Sunday at like 5 or 6 o'clock to send me an email with an address so I can get this 59 Dodge Charger funny car kit shipped to you or get it on its way anyway. Get an address where I know where to send it to. All right, now, if uh, Monday when I come in from work, I'm going to give a little bit of lead way, man. On Sunday at 5 o'clock, you need to send it to me. But I'm going to stretch it out until the next day, Monday, when I come in from work, which is usually around 5.15, 5.20. I'm going to get me a shower, give me something to eat, and then we're going to go back into the remaining numbers in the bowl. The, fir the, first, the first one we draw, if we don't hear from whoever that winner is, then their number, qualifying number, is going into the trash. So they're not going to finish the race. Now we're going to go back to what's left in the bowl, and I'm going to pull a second number, since the first one never got in touch with me. Uh, we're going to pull a second number for the grand prize of a 69 Dodge Charger funny car. The only prize, one. All right, so that's the way we're going to do that. And, uh, man, if... If uh if I messed up anywhere, you can leave it in the comments. And if I'm doing this wrong, you can leave it in the comments. But at this point right here, up until Friday, whenever I get back in here and we do the little drawing, it is what it is, fellas. I'm I'm trying to include the viewers. And speaking of the viewers, man, let me let, let me tell you what I look on my computer screen. I'm learning a little bit about this analytics. I look on my computer screen and my let's see here watch from subscribers not not subscribed is 86.6 percent of my views from the subscribe people is 13.4 now for that 13.4 man i appreciate y'all so much it's unreal how many you really i say it over and over you really you have no idea man but anyway that's the way this thing is gonna go and uh like the video hell like all my videos I ain't I ain't the greatest but I ain't too awful bad I mean hell get, 
give an old feller from the hollers of Kentucky a little old thumbs up. But anyway, fellers, that's the way we're going to do this thing, and uh, I hope it seems right to y'all. I, I, I thought about it, and I wrote it down, and I looked it over it. I don't know how many times, and I come back. When I got home, before I did this, I made sure that the, the car I'm talking about, I said specifically, this is one of my favorite cars or favorite models or whatever. It's one of my favorites, which, uh, you know, it's... And, and look, I might have even left a clue somewhere for y'all to, you know, to, to find the answer. Fellers, we're going on 21 minutes here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this off right here. I done rambled on too long, but y'all have come to see. If you watch my channel, it's what I do. Fellers, uh, I appreciate you watching, and and I, I hope we I hope we get a lot of of I hope we get a lot of uh, qualifying numbers in this race. All right, fellers, y'all be safe. Have a good evening and be safe tomorrow. And we'll be catching y'all later. Maybe, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, the next day. Uh, from from this point on, on this little car till this rain is over, it's pretty much going to be all some brush paint stuff, which I'm not the best at that, fellas. So it'll probably be nothing to show, but hell, I'll probably show it to you anyway. Fellas, I appreciate you watching. I hope you come back and thank y'all so much. I, let me throw this in here, man. Here we go. Uh, when I started my channel, I just come up with the name Hot Rods Model Shop. I thought it sounded pretty cool, so I made my channel that. I had absolutely no videos, and man, I just looked one day and I had six subscribers, never had a video. So I thought, man, you know, I'll show I'll show some of my junk, but I didn't really want to because I watched. I watch so many of these videos, man. These dudes has got some awesome model cars. I can't, I'm unreal. And I thought, damn, man, their stuff makes me want to go up here in the attic and bring all my stuff down and take it out here to the curb, to the trash can, and put it all in there. That's the way I felt. And then I thought, man, people, people make fun of my stuff, and <laughs> and they might still do it, but you know, it is what it is. It's, it's mine. I built it. But anyway, fellers, uh, I figured, you know, man, it, them people subscribed to me, and you know, I didn't even have a video up. So them fellers right there is kind of the ones that, they're the ones that y'all can blame for this disaster of videos. <laughs> no, man. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you, man. You have no idea. I hope this is, uh, I hope this, I hope this, yo, Let's see. I hope everybody thinks this is okay. Like I say, it's not as easy as I'm in. You got to do a little bit of research and put a, put them two cars that I'm talking about down. Fellas, I'm going to let y'all go. I appreciate you so much. And, man, if you don't come back, come back Friday anyway, man. Hell, you, you might win a model if you throw an answer in there. Fellers, I appreciate you. Y'all be safe. Have, have a good rest of your week, and we'll catch you later.